Lithium polymer batteries can go into thermal runaway and light on fire. We've all seen the videos online. We hear about how they're dangerous, and they certainly can be. Other products we use every day can also be dangerous, including knives, gasoline, and even kitchen cleaners. We've made all of these things safer by handling them properly. LiPo batteries can also be used in a safer way by understanding the risks and handling them properly. Lithium polymer, also known as LiPo batteries, are a great choice for the UAS, UAV, drones, and robotics applications because of their lightweight and energy density. The first and most important rule, batteries should never be left unattended while charging. Now, there are a lot of different reasons for this, but the main reason is that charging and discharging are the most dangerous times when using a LiPo. It's the most likely time you can over-discharge a cell, overcharge a cell, or charge a damaged battery, which are the main causes of failure with a LiPo. Make sure you're constantly monitoring your battery during the charging process and never leaving the batteries charging unintended. And that leads us to our second point. Be absolutely sure that the lithium polymer charger settings are correct for the battery pack being charged, both voltage and current settings. Be sure to select LiPo as the chemistry, the correct voltage, and the correct current for your specific battery. All MaxAmp's LiPo batteries can be charged up to 5C. 5C means it's a multiplier of the capacity or milliamps of the battery. If I wanted to charge it at 1C, that would be 4 amps. 2C would be 8 amps, 3C would be 12 amps, 4C would be 16 amps, and 5C, the max charge rate, would be 20 amps. You can charge max amps lipos anywhere from 1C to 5C. The lower the rate you charge, the longer it will take, so if you charge at 1C, it will take longer than charging at 5C. If you have questions about what rate you should be charging your battery, feel free to contact our battery tech team for help. You must use a balanced charging system, otherwise you risk your pack becoming severely out of balance over time, which will significantly decrease the lifespan. Balancing is making sure all the cells within the battery are in a close voltage range and are being charged and discharged at the same rate. Also, be sure that you have the correct polarity when connecting battery packs to a charger or into your application. Red is positive, black is negative. What voltage should I charge up to? In most cases, you do not want to charge above 4.2 volts per cell. Some LiPo battery companies will tell you to charge above this rate for extra performance, but this will lower the life cycles of the battery. There is a trade-off for higher performance and capacity in exchange for lower life cycles. Also, at full charge, especially above 4.2 volts per cell, the battery has the most stored energy and the most potential for a large LiPo fire. What voltage should I discharge down to? You never want to discharge under 3 volts per cell. It is dangerous to go below this voltage because it can lead to thermal runaway and at the very least will permanently damage your LiPo. Aww. We recommend a landing voltage of 3.5 volts to prolong the life of LiPos. What happens if my LiPo gets physically damaged? Let's say you dropped your LiPo and damaged it or had a crash while your battery was in your application. Immediately unplug it and monitor the battery from a distance for 30 minutes to an hour in a fireproof container and ideally outdoors. Then properly dispose of it as soon as possible. Always unplug your battery when it is not in use. Even if your application is off, it can still slowly drain the battery. How do I know how many amps my battery can handle? All MaxAmps LiPos have a data sheet at the bottom of their product pages at MaxAmps.com with in-depth details on the battery. Pushing your batteries to the maximum limits will cause them to lose life cycles. The temperature of the pack should never exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If it does, you may need a pack that is rated to handle more power. How do I store my LiPo batteries? When you're not using your LiPo batteries, store them at approximately 60% capacity, or around 3.8 volts per cell. Most LiPo battery chargers have a storage mode option that will discharge or charge the battery to storage voltage automatically. There are also battery dischargers available to speed up this process. Do not leave them fully charged or fully discharged. This will cause them to be damaged over time and they won't last as long. How often should I cycle my LiPo batteries? For best performance, cycle your batteries at least once per month. This is especially important if your battery includes an internal balancing unit because it will continue to draw a small amount of current even when the battery is not in use. 
One cycle includes a full charge and a discharge down to storage voltage. You can do this in your application, on your charger, or using a dedicated LiPo discharger. Generally speaking, the more you use your batteries, the more cycles you'll get out of them. This also prevents them from getting out of balance, puffing or swelling, or even going dead on the shelf. I hope this video helped you have a better understanding of LiPo batteries. For more details or any specific questions you have, go to maxamps.com or contact our battery tech team via email at info at maxamps.com, live help on our website, or by phone at 888-654-4450, and we'd be happy to help.